Well, Facebook family, it's your running pastor, Isaac B. of Life Church, coming down the final stretch to mile number four. I couldn't have done it without you. You're my cloud of witnesses. I had to lay aside that doubt, that complacency, that want, that desire to give up, and to keep pressing forward. Hey, we're gonna close this out today. We're talking about no pain, no gain. And in life, you will experience the pain, whether you like it or not. You can take it now, or you can take it later. There's a story of a rich man who went to Jesus and said, Jesus, I want to inherit eternal life. And Jesus said, okay. And the rich man said, hey, I, I follow all the commandments, follow the laws, love my family, pay my tithes. I'm a good guy. Jesus said, fine. All right. Well, one thing, go sell everything you have, and then come follow me. He went away sorrowful. Because he did not want to give away his possessions. He was trying to save his life. That he lost his life. He was building his life in the materialistic things of the world. Versus the eternal things. But there was another rich man. Like me. A short man. Named Zacchaeus. Who was painted in his heart. For all the wrongdoing he had done. But he heard about this man named Jesus. And he heard he's coming through town. He wanted me to see Jesus so bad. Despite his height. He wouldn't climb up in the tree. Jesus saw him and said, come on down. Today, salvation will be your home. This man's heart was changed. He pivoted. He returned. And he sold all of his goods and repaid all those he had done wrong four times. Why? Because he recognized all the things that he gained in life were helping him to lose his life. But his willingness to give him up allowed him to be returned, restored, redeemed, repositioned. Because Jesus said, now you will receive something even better than all these rewards of the earth. You're going to receive a reward. Time 40. Minutes, distance 4.16 miles. Current pace 9 minutes 56 seconds per mile. Current split speed 6 miles per hour. As you can see, I finished the race. But I'm so motivated. I'm so pumped up. I'm dominating the pain now. But I just keep on running in life. But when you're willing to give up those things that are hurting you, it allows you to do more with whatever God has given you. And because Zacchaeus was willing to give up the things of his world, he was able to gain eternal life. A life of freedom from sin. The penalty of sin. The power of sin. He was now free to worship the one who truly loved him. And I'm going to just tell you this little story. And then we're going to break away. There's a rich man, old man, and he had great possessions. And before he died, he wanted to take his possession with him so bad that he went and he was praying and he asked the angels, please allow me to take my possessions with me. And the angels said, no, no. He kept begging. So the angels went to God and asked if he could take his possessions. He said, yeah, you can bring one suitcase. So the man dies. He gets to heaven. He sees St. Peter. And St. Peter said, where you got your hand? He said, I got a suitcase. Peter said, you can't bring that in here. The man said, yes, yes. I went to God and asked. He said, I can bring one suitcase. St. Peter goes and asks God, can he bring that suitcase in there? God said, yeah, one suitcase. So Peter, he gets the suitcase and he opens it up. He says, hey, I must inspect it. He inspects it. Now this man on earth had put all this gold and silver in there. And Peter inspected it in heaven. Peter looked in the suitcase and he says, hey, yeah, I looked in here. But the only thing I see, I don't see silver and gold. What I see in here is pavement. I see dirt. Because that which is worthy on earth is as dirt in heaven. We have to be very careful. But what we think counts in this life, that counts for nothing when we get before our God. God wants us to store up eternal treasure. Love, joy, peace, compassion. Being a blessing to our family and our friends. That we, because of our life, we help somebody else to discover their life. Life family, remember, no pain, no gain. Don't be like the rich man who thought he had it all, but he had nothing. Be like Zacchaeus, the short man. He knew, he came to revelation, that what he had was nothing. But what he gained was everything. No pain, no gain. Lose the things that are hurting you. So you can gain the things that can help you, that can heal you. May God bless you. May God keep you. Keep running for Jesus.
because Jesus has already run the race for you. In Jesus' name, amen.